Drop Time. Brought to you by the Medical Center of Southwest Louisiana and Women's and Children's Hospital. Welcome to Chomp Time. Good morning, my name is Andy Davis. To my right, the head coach of the Ice Skaters, Don Maruk. And uh, Coach, welcome to another show. We're sitting down this week, a little bit easier on us. And uh, let's talk a little bit about the Ice Skaters. Some tough times, but a lot of changes coming about. And uh, you're very positive about the way things are going right now for Louisiana. Well, yeah, the worst thing you can do is have me down as a coach. I mean, the players are down. I mean, nobody likes to be in a slump. Nobody likes to lose. What happens when you do that? We're pushing each other. Uh, guys are trying to do it individually. And, and my idea is what I want to do is try to keep very positive, get everybody back to working together as a team. And, and like I said, we don't need to push the panic button. I mean, you know, we're in a bit of a slump right now, but we're only five, six points out of first place. I mean, uh, you know, every team goes through slumps. Hopefully that uh, we're going to work our way from this. And I'd rather have it now if I have to have one. Nobody likes it, but if you have to have one, it's better to have it now than say, let's say if we're going into April 1st or something. So we're going to stay positive and this team's a good character bunch of guys and we'll work our way through it. Well, you mentioned staying positive and right now watching some practices, you and assistant coach Dennis Holland are so upbeat and that's really rubbing off on the players and everyone seems to be having a good time right now despite the fact they've had a couple losses. Well, yeah, like, I mean, uh, like I said, uh, you know, uh, guys like Sean Goche uh, is struggling right now. Chris Valasevich is started to come on at the end there. John Spoltar, a few games without a point. Deep in my heart, I know that all this stuff's going to gel and it's all going to come together. But the one thing is, if they see the two coaches down and not happy, then it'll rub off on them. So we're trying to keep them positive and still doing some hard work, trying to find a way out of this. Dennis and I come up with some nice new changes in the lineup. You know, uh, you know, we're going to try to fit in a few guys here and there. We got Mike Oliveira coming back. Uh, we're trying to get Johnny DePork in the lineup. So there'll be a lot of positive things. In it. And the main thing is that it, that's going to rub off onto the players and the attitude. One of the guys that has been uh, very positive and playing quite well for you right now is this week's player spotlight, Mike Kuslin, uh, in his rookie season. And Mike's been on some different line combinations, but he's always right there in the corner, loves to bang the body, and uh, just a great kid. Well, when I first saw Mike, he was up in Lake Superior State. And then I went up to uh, Detroit's uh, NHL camp there, and I saw Mike there. And he caught my eye, and he did the exact same there. He's a big guy. He likes to skate and bump bodies. And uh, he's just a hard-working guy and the type of guy you need on your hockey club. And uh, we're excited to have him here. And I'll tell you what, this is the type of guy that will come along, too. I'm expecting him to pot a few goals in. He's getting some chances once he gets his confidence back and stuff. There's another guy that will come big for us. For a, such a big guy physically, he really seems to have good stick skills. And like you say, he's had some great chances, and he's always seems to be in the right place at the right time. Well, and everybody's going to realize this guy, this guy's been off the ice for, like, you know, you know he was off the ice for about a month, then he came the first day in training camp, hurt his ankle again, so he was off another month. So it, when you get a big guy that's six four, six five, it takes them a while to get their, their coordination and their stuff down together, and Mike Cousin will get together, and I'll tell you what, uh, this guy will start to put some pucks in the net too. Take a look at this week's player spotlight on Mike Cousin. Mike Kuslin, this week's spotlight player here on Chomp Time. Uh, first, Mike, welcome to the show, and uh, a good start to the season for you. have been banging a lot of bodies out there, and the fans really getting used to your physical style of play. Why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, your style of play and, uh, and why you like to play that way? I think any time that you can uh, bring a physical style of play, especially uh, in, in your own building, it's important. I think my role as uh, on this team is going to be to play physical. Uh, I really haven't had a whole lot of points yet this year. I think it's going to come for me if, as long as I keep playing physical. And I've had a good opportunity to play some uh, good veterans. So hopefully I'm waiting for my points to start coming in and keep playing physical and uh, hope the crowd responds the same way it has been. Well, we mentioned physical, and physical, of course, doesn't mean just fighting, but it's big body checks along the boards, and anytime you're out there on a the line, the centerman seems to just dump it into the corner and let Big Mike go after. That seems to be the plan right now. Uh, I think so. I think uh, right now, especially if we're not generating a whole lot of goals, it's good to get the puck down deep, crash and bang, and try to make things happen. So right now, I'm do I think I'm doing my job. Uh you know, pretty well. I, I think I got to pick up my pace in the, with the, some points, but hopefully we'll get some numbers on the board and it'll uh, produce some points. Well, you came out of Lake Superior State last year and played a few pro games in the East Coast League and the American League, but now your first full season professional. Kind of tell us the differences between uh, playing professional and playing in the college ranks. I think uh, playing a professional, you got to be ready to play 60 games, you know, 60, 70 games a year, as opposed to college where you're only playing 35. In college, you practice a lot more. Practices were about two and a half hours long to where they're an hour long here. I think the adjustment just on, uh, you know, you got to grow up, make choices every day, and, you know, your, your nightlife and your other things can't get caught up on the side. You just got to remember what you're here to do, and it's a job now. So there's no one there to tell you what's good or right. They can always get rid of you. So when you take it for a job, I mean, you really got to be serious and hit it head on. 
I'm sure you're not missing uh, the classes right now. No, not at all, actually. I have a girlfriend back home who's uh, in school right now, and I don't don't regret that at all. I'll tell you, I'm so glad to be over at the homework. It's a, it's a pain in the neck. Talk a little bit about, uh, of course, fighting a new aspect to your game. You're not supposed to fight, and you really don't fight in the college ranks. And uh, how do you go about learning that skill coming into the pro ranks? Well, I played three years of juniors, and I had my uh, fair share of scraps in juniors. I think for the most part, uh, I worked hard this summer. I, d I did a little uh, conditioning with a couple boxing coaches, and you know, I just I did it more for the conditioning than I did for the fighting. But it seemed to carry over and help me out a little bit. But I guess what goes around comes around, and you know, I'm not. I don't want to be known as a, you know, as a fighter, but I want to be known as a grinder, like like you said earlier. And I think uh, if I have to fight, I have to fight. Whatever the team needs me to do, I'm I'm willing to do it. So, you know, what's been your favorite part about being in Lafayette uh, so far this year? I've had a lot of good parts. I think the, the the food's been great. The crowds have been great. The hockey's the hockey's been good. I think it's going to get a lot better. I think uh, I've had a lot of positives come out uh, come out of this uh, place so far. I'm just looking forward to continuing on here and, and making an impact on this team. Well, the fans certainly enjoy watching you play. Uh, keep it up. Best of luck, and we'll chat with you again soon. All right, take care. the performance they deliver. They are Yukon and Suburban, GMC's full-size sport utilities for $19.99. The dominating size, the muscular stance, and the fine detailing of a luxurious interior. It'll make you feel like you have the power to go anywhere. Feel the power. Drive a Yukon or Suburban by GMC. Your GMC dealer now has special smart lease or smart buy payments on Yukon or Suburban. So what are you waiting for? See your Cajun Country GMC dealers today. Folks, did you know that? Folks has lowered prices on Kelly and Hallmark tires and custom chrome wheels. We've added more selection to our two boxes and we will continue to keep prices down. Come in and check out the new flex top retractable truck canopy, steel cowl induction hoods, and chrome front bumpers. New stainless steel grill guards at the price of chrome. What a deal on stainless steel. Go to Folks, go to Folks, go to our two locations. Back at Chomp Time, Andy Davis and Don Murak, the head coach of the Louisiana Ice Skaters. Time now for our Ask the Gators segment. This week we're talking about some rule changes, Coach, and of course your first year in the East Coast Hockey League. But talk us through your opinion. First of all, the, the no-touch icing really means, seems to be the one that a lot of people are talking about. What's your thoughts on that? Well, you know, when I first went to the, to the, the coaches' seminar, uh, there the, the, the idea of that is they're trying to speed the game up. Uh, you know, and I know the NHL is thinking about it, but we don't have the TV stuff. The icing, I don't mind that in a way because, you know, Andy, you know, sometimes the guys are racing for pucks and, and guys can get injured. I mean, uh, I think it stops a lot of stuff too. And then why they did it, they said that a lot of times when they go to battle for the puck, you got two guys going in close, some guys will hit the guy from behind and get injured, or sometimes it starts a, you know, a ruckus and then next thing you know it takes longer and longer and stuff like that. So there's no icing, uh, no touch icing rule. I don't mind that at all. Uh, to me, that's not a bad rule. Certainly in to save injuries, like Coach said, and uh, another one that's to speed up the game, the faster face-offs. And sometimes you'll see one center at the dot and the puck's dropped and uh, it's an easy face-off. We can talk about that a little bit. Well, that one I have a tough time with. I mean, I mean, you know, the game's tough enough as it is. You're, you're trying, you know, the guys are trying to prepare themselves. I always figure when you're going into a face-off, you need your centerman trying to talk to you or guys trying to say, this is our strategy to go. And now what we got to do is we got to kind of hurry up and get ready. He's going to drop the puck. So basically for me, I could do without that one personally. I, I think it's, you know, I mean, uh, the, we're out there trying to do a game, trying to, you know, 
be good for the fans and stuff like that. Now we got to worry if we get to the face-off too quick enough. So I'm kind of uh, hesitant on that one myself. And finally, the, uh, the one you've seen, of course, the National Hockey League, the tag up offsides, which really seems to help speed the game up. And guys are able to put the puck into the zone and not worry if one of their players is stuck in there because he can come out and tag up again. Yeah, and, and you know, some people, when you watch the game of hockey, everybody likes the flow. You know, everybody likes to see get it going and, and keep going, stuff like that. So that rule, to me, I think that's a great rule. I mean, I really like it because instead of, you know, you're watching a game, if there's stops and start, you know, stop and whistle and stuff like that, it, you know, it kind of takes away from the flow of the game. And that rule just kind of keeps it going and it gives you more opportunities to come and go. And I, I like that rule. So those are the three new rules in the East Coast Hockey League this year. Let's take a look at what some of the ice skaters had to say about them. Ask the Gators, brought to you by the Medical Center of Southwest Louisiana and Women's and Children's Hospital. It's good for the uh, automatic icing. It's going to prevent some injuries from you know, the defense. But, I mean, besides that, I mean, they're just going to try. It's a development league, so it's a development for everybody and trying new and things. But I just wish it would be consistent through the whole uh, course of the year instead of, you know, right till Christmas and then kind of slack off to the end of the year. Or, you know, it, but that's, you know, that's the way hockey is. As a goaltender, the faster faceoffs must be tough. You used to have a little time to relax and skate around. Now you've got to get ready and, and get into your crease for that faceoff. Yeah, I mean, I did know that you know we had to go out, and there was a time you know uh, time junction to go out, make sure we had to finish a game at two or three hour, you know two or three hours. I mean, we're there to go out and play the game. If it takes sixty minutes, it takes sixty minutes. It takes three hours, it takes three hours. So I mean, it's uh, grassroots of hockey, and you got to make sure that you play you know a full sixty minutes and take it from there. Chris, tell us what you think about the three new rule changes this year in the East Coast Hockey League. Uh, not much, to be honest with you. Um, what do you say about it? Uh, the no-touch icing um, is difficult because sometimes the referees weigh it off, sometimes you don't. You get caught kind of in the middle, so you almost have to go back after it anyway. So, and it kind of kills some of the offensive plays you want to do. Sometimes you want to do a long dump because you got a forward going hard and you don't want them to hold up the blue line, so that kind of kills that too. So, um, as far as the, the no-touch icing, I understand that they're trying to do it for some safety and speed up the game, but uh, there's some confusion about it. As far as the um, touch-up icing goes, or touch-up offsides, you know, it's one of those things where, uh, you know, teams just keep dumping it back in, dumping it back in, and there's no plays. There's not a whole lot of plays being made. Everybody just keeps it dumped back in. You know, I'd like to see people make some plays and force some defensemen and, and other people to make some plays, and, and I think that's a part of exciting turnovers and things like that it causes and uh, creates scoring opportunities one way or another. So I'd like to see that rule kind of get x made. Uh, what's the other rule? Face-offs, and I'm sure you haven't taken a face-off in quite some time, but the faster face-offs still affects you. You've got to be ready when that puck is dropped after five seconds. Yeah, it's it's kind of goofy because sometimes you're trying to, trying to get your people in order, making sure everybody knows who they have, uh, maybe in some special situations. So that doesn't mind me uh, bother me so much because they kind of eased up on it a little bit. When we first got into it, they'd blow the whistle. Three seconds later, they are dropping the puck. So... But they've eased up on that a little bit, but I don't see what uh, speeding up the game by by three minutes is going to do. Um, you know, I just assume everybody know what they're doing and have a fair draw and things like that than trying to force people into the faceoff and speed things up. So we'll see. Ryan, tell us uh, your impressions. Of course, uh, your first year in the East Coast Hockey League, but the rule changes, uh, generally speaking, in hockey terms, how do you find the new rule changes this year? Uh, in particular, to which rule? No touch icing, first of all, we'll start off with. I like it. I think it uh, definitely saves, uh, you know, the defenseman from getting run and maybe speeds the game up a little bit, you know, that way the guys don't have to go back and pick it up. But, you know, I'm, I'm generally in favor for it. And the uh, the quick face-offs, you know, the, the uh, five or seven second, uh, I like that also, you know. It, you, know, you just got to be on your toes a little bit and have your uh, uh, make sure that uh, you know everybody is focusing on the extra focus on the game a little bit more that way you don't take uh, a few minutes in between uh, it just speeds the game up in general I like that how about the uh, the tag up offsides roll uh, I like that better also it just like I said speeds the game up a little bit you know when you don't have to wait till your men come out you can throw the puck back in and and get back in the four check just makes for a speedier game and, and that's what everybody likes to see fast pace and, uh, 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 that hockey is you know The all-new 99 Sierra, the truck for the one percenters, those who want more. A more comfortable interior, a more powerful Vortex V8 engine, a stronger, stiffer, lighter frame. The reviews. 99 Sierra is arguably the new state-of-the-art in the, the full-size truck business. The deal. 
Now, get special Smart Buy or Smart Lease payments on all new 99 GMC Sierras. See your change in country GMC dealers today. I've been thinking lately. All things considered, I'm pretty special. I've had choices, made mistakes, but if I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't change a thing. I'll never be a size six again. I'm getting older, but these things aren't important. What is important are my needs, my health, and my children's health. These are things I'll never compromise. Your life, your needs, your hospital. Women's and Children's Hospital. There's over a million dollars waiting to be won at Players Island. Call now to receive your third clue. Your third clue to solving the eight-digit combination that'll crack our visible vault. Come and see the Great Pyramid of Cash right before your eyes. To take it home, you need to guess the code. And if you want a clue to the code, you need to phone the number below. The Million Dollar Visible Vault, only at Players Island Casino. Exit 29 on the I-10 in Lake Charles, Louisiana. <laughs> What you doing, Frank? Waiting for him to talk. <laughs> it's just a game. Frank. Well, some nights I'm in here and I swear I can hear him talking. We all have our demons, Frank. That's shh, quiet, you're gonna get us caught. Uh, Charlie? Yeah? You hear something? No. Now? No. As a business owner, you know that you can spend big dollars on printing. That's why it's important to make the right choice when it comes to choosing your printer. Someone with integrity, quality, service, and delivery is what it's all about. At Express Printing, we can take your ideas from inception to completion all under one roof. From color brochures and posters to letterheads and business forms, Express Printing can make your business stand out among the competition. For attention to details and quality, remember Express Printing informs. Back at shop time, time now for our Rehab Excel training tips this week, taking a look at mouth guards. And, Coach, some players like them, some players don't like them. Uh, as a player yourself, what was your thoughts on the mouth guards? Well, you, you know, back then when I played, you know, we didn't wear helmets and, and, and mouth guards. Now we're just starting to come into it. You know, I've heard different things. I mean, Christ, everybody likes to hang on to their, their, their teeth and stuff like that. And I've heard that, too, a lot of those mouth guards, they're making them, that they put pressure and they put pressure in your jaw, which they tell me gives you more strength and energy. So I think it's a good thing. I mean, uh, nobody likes to lose their teeth. And uh, as much as we, we do it in the game, but, uh, you know, anything to protect a guy and, and stuff like that. So I'd be all for it. Let's take a look at this week's training tips on Rehab XL. Training tips brought to you by Rehab XL. Hi, I'm Johnny Gomez, and today on Rehab Excel's training tips, we have Dr. Tony Swallow to talk to us about mouth guards and why they can be used and how, how they help in prevention of athletic injuries. Dr. Swallow, can you tell us a little bit about mouth guards? Thank you for having me today, Johnny. The purpose of a mouth guard is to do two things. One is to protect the teeth from being injured during any sporting activity, and the other is to protect the jaw from either being shoved back or having any damage created to it so that you don't get a concussion or getting dizzy or that sort of thing during an injury. A mouth guard needs to be designed in, order, in certain ways in order for this to happen. One, as you see, as we have a mouth guard here, there are certain requirements that it needs. First, it needs to cover all of the teeth fully, including in the back. It needs to be at least three millimeters in the back. That will give you a cushion to where as you bite down, if a accident occurs and the jaw is compressed upward, it's gonna cause a cushion here. That will keep you from having the jaw fractured or broken or causing any dizziness or consciousness during play. The other thing that a mouth guard needs, it needs to be made of different layers. You need to have a layer within the mouth guard itself that's very hard. That gives the teeth a shock absorbing effect, so if a blow is delivered to the front of the mouth guard, it'll keep it from knocking it loose. The other thing that it'll do is keep it from dislodging the teeth. The typical ball and bite type mouth guards that you can get at any sporting goods store are not going to have that hard band within them. That makes them not as effective as one that a dentist can make 
for you. The other thing a mouth core needs to do is it needs to fit properly within the mouth. If it doesn't fit the teeth exactly right, it's not going to stay on while the after the lead is playing. So what will happen is toward the end of the game, whenever he's getting tired, he's not going to get enough airflow to his muscles. That can lead to muscle cramping or fatigue. The other thing that it can do if it doesn't stay on and it's delivered a sharp blow to the mouth, part of the mouth cord can actually be swallowed and that can cause another injury. The other thing that a mouth cord needs to do is that when you bite down, the teeth need to match up into it ideally so that you hit just the same on both sides of the mouth guard. If you hit more to one side or the other, that's why you need a dentist to help guide the mouth cord in it being made. The jaw can actually be partially dislocated while the mouth guard is being worn. That can actually lead to greater injury if a blow is sustained, whether you're playing football, basketball, ice hockey, soccer, any of these things can occur. The other thing you want to have a mouth guard for is you want to have it nice and smooth with no rough edges. If the edges are rough, anytime you get hit, that can cause lacerations and cause a, the typical busted lip further. Poor Yuri. Oh, you hate to see that happen. Oh. Players in the NHL don't take that kind of abuse. Oh, someone make him so, you know, being an instructor with the Navy SEALs isn't all it's cracked up to be. You are getting desperate. You no, know, I'm always like this. I really have no chance with you girls, do I? Be honest, I could take it. Yes, but we cannot! You all are like angels, I tell you. This guy is making me sick! Hey, you're not the only one. Oh, 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 oh. Fill with faults. Did you know that? Bed covers. Folks has fiberglass that comes in black or painted to match your factory color. Heavy-duty aluminum roll top or the no-drill clamp-on vinyl at the right price. Nerf bars in black, chrome, and stainless steel at a real good deal. Falks has hitches, tailgates, headache racks, bumpers, and a large selection of drill guards in chrome, black, and stainless steel. Go to Falks, go to Falks, go to our two locations. I know all about Women's and Children's Hospital. Once I came to see my grandma after she had surgery. I've been here lots of times. I even stayed overnight one time with real high fever. But today I'm here to see someone that I don't even know. That's him, my new little brother. When I go up, I want to work here so I can help people. Women's at Children's Hospital. Growing with you. Alarms, putting security in a whole new light. Beacon Alarms, putting security in a whole new light. It's Fiesta Time at the Gante Mexican Restaurant and Cantina. Dine in an authentic Mexican atmosphere. Huevenos, camarones, sudanos, enchiladas, burritos, sizzling fajitas, and more. Enjoy the daily lunch specials, appetizers, soups, salads, desserts, and el menu para los niños. Join your friends on the patio or sing until the donkeys come home with karaoke in the cantina. The Gante Mexican Restaurant and Cantina. I-49 North at the Glorious Witch Exit. of the week sponsored by beacon alarms 136 left in the penalty to trevor gallant nice skaters now officially on their seventh pontiac power play murphy moves in wrist shot changed direction and went wide of Salako. near side corner hollock setting up the power play nine and a half left in the stanza sinclair in front shot score murphy taps it home Sevic has logged a ton of ice time tonight for the ice skaters. He has a goal this evening. Along with Jay Murphy, Valasevic moves in. Quick shot turned aside by Saleko's blocker. Valasevic gets it behind the net, walks out in front, throws it through the crease. Shot on the far side, saves Saleko. Rebound, score! In front, as John mentioned, Gaucher and Valasevic play catch. Valasevic down low to Spoltor. Back to Valasevic. Winds, he scores!
get a load of the old timer? That there is the legendary Radio Robert. Who? Twenty years ago, he was unstoppable. Had a slap shot you could hear but could not see. Hence the nickname Radio. Yeah, well, they can call him Rusty Robert now. Hey, Rusty! Don't, don't say it, Tony. Still got that shot, Tin Man? Let's see it. Oh. Punk. Hey, maybe you should be a gully, Tony. Tony? Their looks are as powerful as the performance they deliver. They are Yukon and Suburban, GMC's full-size sport utilities for $19.99. The dominating size, the muscular stance, and the fine detailing of a luxurious interior. It'll make you feel like you have the power to go anywhere. Feel the power. Drive a Yukon or Suburban by GMC. Your GMC dealer now has special smart lease or smart buy payments on Yukon or Suburban. So what are you waiting for? See your Cajun Country GMC dealers today. There's over a million dollars waiting to be won at Players Island. Call now to receive your third clue. Your third clue to solving the eight-digit combination that'll crack our visible vault. Come and see the Great Pyramid of Cash right before your eyes. To take it home, you need to guess the code. And if you want a clue to the code, you need to phone the number below. The Million Dollar Visible Vault, only at Players Island Casino. Exit 29 on the I-10 in Lake Charles, Louisiana. <laughs> Hey, boy. What were you doing up so late last night? What, Papa? I saw you on TV at 2 o'clock this morning. Papa, they had me on tape. Uh-huh. I saw you. You said across from Walmart. Uh-oh. Well, I saw you. You said across from Walmart. Uh-uh. I said next to Walmart. That's ABI. Katie and his only locally owned electronic superstore. Off Ambassador. Next to Walmart. Come home for the holidays to Credit Merchandise. Make your home more beautiful with furniture for the entire house. Have more fun with a new stereo, big screen TV, home theater system, or camcorder. Get a new computer system with 400 free minutes of internet access. With each new rental, you'll receive a free 30-minute prepaid calling card. And you can own it in less than a year with our 10-to-own plans. Hurry home for the holidays to a Credit Merchandise store near you. Welcome back to Chomp Time, closing things out this week. Coach Murdoch, uh, Thanksgiving week coming up, a big turkey plan for you on Thursday. I know you really want to have that turkey this week. You were talking no. about it all day yesterday. You like the turkey. Oh, yeah, that's a big deal for us. I've got a big meal set up for all the players. We're going to have a big meal at the, the Hotel Acadiana, and right after the meal, we're going to head on the bus. And that's the thing, you know, I didn't want the guys to get on the bus and, and not have a meal. I think Thanksgiving is a very, very important holiday. And, you know, a lot of these guys are single. They're away from their homes, they're away from their families. And it just kind of gives them a little tradition, brings them back together. So we're all looking forward to having a nice turkey dinner meal and then hitting on the bus heading to Pensacola. Sounds like a great idea for the ice skaters for Thanksgiving and would like to remind everyone that today Rollerblade for Cancer has been rescheduled. Registration begins at noon at the Cajun Dome. The event will run from 2 to 5 p.m. So coach, uh, Rollerblade for Cancer coming up. I know you'll be out there and it's a, it's a great cause. Well, I'll tell you, anytime you can do anything for charity, I'm there and I know our team will be there and we're looking forward to big support from all the fans to come out. Like I said, there's not a better charity to do it than cancer. So I'm looking forward to seeing everybody out there coming to shaking hands and having a lot of fun. That'll be this afternoon. Registration begins at 12 at the Cajun Dome. And one final reminder, the ice skaters do have a Christmas holiday pack on sale. It's a six-pack of tickets, and you can get more information by calling 234-4-ICE for the Christmas holiday pack of tickets. Makes a great gift, our stocking stuff or what have you. So, Coach, another week out, another week of hockey. We'll be back here next uh, Sunday to do it all over again. Thanks for joining us. Anytime I can work with you, Andy, I'm looking forward to it. So we'll see you next week. And we'll see everyone else next week right here on Chomp Time on Fox TV. Chomp Time was brought to you by the Medical Center of Southwest Louisiana, Women's and Children's Hospital, Cajun Country GMC dealers, Bud Light, 